Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back. It is Wellness Wednesday. We've taken things on the road. We are here at the Edible Schoolyard, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. And joining me this morning to talk about a great new recipe, I'm actually really excited about this, is Sierra. We're making tortillas. We are. So this is one of our favorites with the students. They love making homemade tortillas. Um, it's used in a lot of our recipes. Well, that's what I was going to say, too, is I know that for the last couple of years when we've done recipes, we've actually put things that we've made onto tortillas. So guess exactly. what? You can put the things that you've already made onto the tortillas that we're going to make today. Exactly. And if you follow along for the rest of this uh -huh. month's um, recipes, we're going to show you how you can incorporate these Excellent. homemade tortillas Excellent. into some of our other um, delicious recipes. So we're going to start with our masa. We, we're using the maseca flour. Um, where can which you is, just get that at yep, any store? Is, yep. This okay. is a, a lot of grocery stores in town. And this is, it's very, masa is very fine. So it's not like cornmeal where it's gritty. Right, it's more right. like a flour. Okay. And we're going to be mixing our water with this and a little bit of salt. I'll have you add the salt in there. The easy part. Just dump it on in. This is the... Oh, okay. I need to... Got it. Let me get it. Here, how about there this? You go. There we we're go. We're going to be using our hands to mix. We're good. Okay, and then we've got two cups of masa in here. We're adding a little over a cup of water. Um, I have a little extra reserve just in case it gets a little dry. We don't want it to be too right. sticky right. Um, or too wet. So we kind of mix that up. So here's, you were telling me earlier, you were warning me. Uh, <laughs> this is best to use with your hands, right? Yeah, this is why it's so fun with the kids because yeah. they get to, it's, you know, it's more than just a recipe. It's like right. you're allowed to play with your food for this one. Yeah, just so make sure your hands are more. clean. Just Ooh, I'm going to let you mix that a little okay. bit. Okay, so while we're mixing this, what type of, uh, what are you looking for? Just to make sure that it's, obviously it's a little chunky right now. You want it not as like runny as maybe a peanut butter, but you want it to be sticking together. Yeah, that's looking really good. And we, in classes, we use the tortilla press. That's right next to you, Alex. And we're going to be making little um, round balls of our masa. So I was going to ask you really quick, if you yeah. don't have a tortilla press at home, what's the best alternative? Obviously you want a tortilla press yeah. if you have one. I don't have one at home. Okay. Um, and so what I often will use is uh, just like an upside down plate if the bottom is flat with another plate on top. Um, you just want pressure. Yeah, you just want to get that pressure and have a flat surface. So that's a great way to go. How and does this look? It's looking good. Okay. okay. Add a little bit more and okay. then we're going to press them up. Okay. Yeah. So again, we're being clean here. Don't be clean at home unless you really want to. <laughs> and get the kids involved. That's what I love about these recipes. That's one thing that I know that you're really trying to stress to. Oh, see, now I'm making a mess. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's it's all right, though. That's about. what it's all about. <laughs> but, like, you you know, when we do these recipes, you, you stressed before how great it is to get the kids involved, to get other people involved, because I've got to say, it's great when, number one, everyone gets to help out with the meal, but you get to have the 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 education part of it, you know, explaining to your family why these ingredients, why this food is actually good for you. Yeah, and it's like, it makes it really exciting. That's perfect. Okay. It makes it exciting for them to make, you know, if you're making taco filling and something like that, to yeah. also have the added fun of making your own homemade tortillas. They're also really tasty. So, so you're we, getting a small ball. So yeah, it's probably like about a ping pong sized ball that we're going to be using um, to make our tortilla. We just set that in the center. Our tortilla press is lined with just a thin sheet of plastic so it doesn't stick to the wood. Right, okay. Go ahead and flip that over and then pull this one down and press all your pressure on top. Yes, lovely. Okay. All right, let's see how that comes out. Hey, right. what you got? We got a nice big one there. And then peel this off. But that's the thing with tortillas. It, it's strong. not going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not too much pressure next time. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we'll do a little less. We'll do another one. Okay. Okay. All right, and this is the fun part. If you have younger kids too and like you want to just have them have an assembly line, you can mm -hmm. get a whole bunch of little tortilla tortilla balls going, ready to press, and they can take turns. This is a, a favorite part for well, the students in class. I was going to say it also helps with time, so if you want to just give them an easy assignment to do to help you out, this is great as well. It won't go yeah. super hard. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think you're stronger there than the students. <laughs> making nice thin tortillas. Well, that's good news. I'm glad that I can at least be stronger than those students. Okay. 
And then we're cooking these on a, on a griddle, but you can cook these on a skillet as well. We've got some lovely Le Creuset um, that were donated by the outlets at Tejon. Oh, perfect. And so we've been using those in our classes now and just showing students that you can kind of change what you're using for your cooking source. Do you not trust me to do it anymore? I'm just going to do a smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. There we go. And so I'm cooking these on the griddle. It really only takes like... 30 seconds if your griddle's yeah, heated. Yeah, you don't want to burn it. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to burn it. You just want to toast them a little bit on either side. And then you'll let them flip. We're going to add a little bit of cheese today, make a little um, like like a, a little quesadilla. quesadilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's, I mean, kids will just want to eat them straight off the griddle. It's They're so good and have that yummy corn Warm flavor. Warm tortillas are comforting. I mean, yes. it is almost like comfort food. Totally is. Okay. There we go. Yeah, perfect. You can kind of see it goes, the the texture kind of changes. Yeah. That one's kind of falling A little apart, flimsy, but, but I mean, you don't want it to be hard. I mean, it's a it's a tortilla, for goodness sakes. You, yeah. Well, yeah. and it's, we've just made three. But when right. you get to the end of this bowl, your tortillas, you're going to have your technique down. Right, so that's right, what we've noticed right. with the students is like, the first four that come out, they're like, oh, this one's shaped like a teddy bear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have some funny shapes. And then towards the end, you're like, okay, look at you yeah. go. You are a machine over yeah. here. <laughs> So they get really into it. We did a fun class a couple weeks ago where the students were all kind of like an iron chef. They yeah. were all making tacos and they made some homemade tortillas and it was really fun. So I have to ask you, because I know that there are other recipes that we've made in the past few months and years and, and whatnot. Uh, you can pretty much just find whatever you want to put into these tortillas. Yeah, some people right. like to include a little bit of lime. Um, you could add some other flavors and see how they turn out. The students were getting creative and they put some different flavors into their tortillas to see how it would work. And yeah, yeah I encourage people to experiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I mean that's what the great thing about uh, all of this is. Is and this is the whole idea of why we're doing these Wellness Wednesday segments. Is we really want to to make Kern County healthier. We want we want people to eat healthier foods. And when you're making food. Food, it is healthier than getting something that is processed at the store. Exactly. And look at this. This it's looks like simple. a great little mini Just quesadilla. Just a couple ingredients. We've got the, the water, the salt, the corn flour. We add a little cheese on top. I'll flip that so you can have a little quesadilla. All right, perfect. Look, there this is going to be a meal or it could be a snack. All right. <laughs> it's fantastic as always. Absolutely delicious. Okay, look. We've got a lot of recipes on our website, kget.com. Go to the community tab. You'll see Wellness Wednesday. I use these recipes all the time, and they're super easy. They're super healthy, and it's really great to make. So, and they keep just getting bigger and bigger. Sierra, thanks so much for making thanks, tortillas Alex. with us. Appreciate it. We're back with more news coming up after the break.